with Rob Mayer, our Birmingham political reporter. Preet, this is an absolutely dire situation. As Rob said, we've not been able to interview anyone from the council. Have you spoken to them? Yes, I mean, I've spoken to John Cotton, who's the leader of the council. It's a deeply worrying situation, not just for my constituents, but of course for everybody living in Birmingham. They'll be very worried. What I wanted to understand is how we got into this situation in the first place. What I do know is, is that the figure initially that was being proposed was far less. Of course, what is now being proposed is the revenue budget of the council of 750 million they've already paid out 1.1 billion and of course let's not forget they've had a billion pound taken by central government and of course now what we don't want to see is just statutory services being delivered we need to make sure that the council can deliver all of its services so I want to call upon the government to actually step in and support the council through this very difficult time because people will be worried about whether their essential services are going to be delivered. Of course, they pay their so, council tax. I mean, essentially, you, your colleague Steve McCabe, you are calling for a bailout here from central government. Well, look, I mean, we've got to consider what the impact has been of that one billion that's been taken away from the council. They already had to make efficiency savings. They had to halve their workforce. I don't see how they're going to make further efficiency savings or where, what resources that they're going to stop delivering in the city and that's why the government really has got to step in. It's got to look at the impact of taking that £1 billion out and how it can support it through this very difficult I mean, time. You said at the beginning...